actually check out how JT and company are going to do, despite the fact that he is hamstrung with a 140 ping situation. Wow, big peaks coming through and first some flashes to pop complexity into wherever they want to go. Double molly hinting towards an A play. Maybe they show ramp. You can get deep mollies off on ramp. We'll see if they're allowed. JT's lining up that top site utility. So showing ramp first, coming back to A perhaps. There's the hot molly roof. Ooh, pick your side, Wolfie. Pick your spot, pick your drop. He's going to go. Now they come out ramp with a flashbang. Still a molly for Floppy. This is going to be for the window on B, uh, you would presume, to take down double door and allow that open plant. Wolfie flanking, denied by JT holding an angle for a rare case. And Manx couldn't hit that one shot he was given. Oh, the molly, it's fallen short. Fasher, he can stop the bomb plot. He can just swing out right now. Back turn, Floppy at least gets the stick. And Fasher follows up. This was the guy to look for in that last map. The reload is heard. Fang can't get the kill. Needs to back out. Oh, Fasher, no way he wins another fight. It's all from the missed Molotov. And now JT, he's picked up the jewelies. He's hunting these kills, but he can't get a single one. No armor. And chewed up, then spat out. Two kills for JT, but it doesn't matter. That Molotov for Floppy. Yeah. We saw that yesterday. It was a little bit disturbed by the fact that that player was fighting in the window. Yeah. Uh, just probably a little bit of an extra stray from Floppy, trying to stay alive when he's throwing it. And yeah, it, like you said, it's supposed to burn up to the doorway. It's supposed to right there. He shouldn't be able yeah. to open the door, shouldn't be able to get that freebie. And that's everything. That, that changes the entire dynamic of the round. And Floppy, I mean, he kind of meets his own demise at his own hands uh, because he doesn't get that... that Molotov all the way through, but great round from Fasher. I mean, this guy had an incredible, yep. incredible inferno. He was on top of the scoreboard with, by the end of it, 44 kills. Nuts. 106 ADR, by the way. So, that is a great start for Ecstatic, but like I said early on in this one, this is a game where complexity, they, they have a lot in their playbook. They have a lot of different strategies. If you're watching this at home right now and you're an up-and-coming IGL, be sure to download this one after. This is this one is going to give you a lot of different options. We even just saw an A fake there into yeah. a B hit. Full A1S is going to leave you with no util, no breathing room, no room for error. Grim's going to trade that out pick. They go quiet for a bit, waiting for the re-aggression. They're going to get it. With these A1S's, you're very confident, but the AK out on Junior missing the headshots when they were presented. JT gets picked instead, and Wolfie could double up. That's a clean headshot to Grim, only seeing a tippity top of the head. New Junior was red earlier. The bomb trying to cross out. It will make it. But that's info. You know complexity of reset. Floppy has taken a lot of ground. I don't know if they saw both players in secret, but at least one of them. Plus this yard guy gives you knowledge that you have room. You know, the bomb has to care about hut. That hasn't been cleared. And even a ramp flank could come in. So Floppy's got to abandon the A site to try and bodyguard his teammate into the lobby. Already static, they know what's going on. Not only are they flanking spawn on a great timing, but they're getting set up for a retake heaven, not rushing these kills in the A site, aware that they can just play as a unit in a four on two and lock complexity out in the post plant. Digits being punched in, Floppy, he has to hold for this heaven push. Oh, the timing's Ooh. not there, and Floppy makes it a two on three. He still has a lot of HP to work with, but Junior, he's going for a, a little B bit of round. Dafu's B. Yeah, he's got oh, to come up that vent. vent. Oh, my God. Okay, they've spotted Junior out. Floppy should know he's still there, but Junior's got the superior Ooh. weapon. Takes down one. One for one. Now it's all up to Floppy. One versus two behind the silo. Oh. The lineup's there, but Bird from Sky survives. One alive as Complexity forced into that one, but they found another bomb plant, and they can keep the pressure on if they so choose. Yeah, this buy won't be four, eight, or five A1Ss, I'll tell you that much, right? Four kills and the plant. That was a damn good try for Complexity, and what was essentially a two on four walking into that MTA site. Bit of a shame that I think it was Wolfie in heaven just, just swings out alone on the first fight. like A little you know, early. Yeah, a little early. No one, Dafu not even ready. I thought he was going to come through main. He was garage, and he, he, he went secret to come up vent just to play with his team, try and change up the angle, sure. But, you know, they, yeah, we could have seen Ecstatic get into that round way sooner. Do, you know, nitpicking doesn't matter. 2-0. Oh. The rebuy's in. You called it. It's four glills though this time. It's a little less for both sides. I said not five A1Ss. They've done it again. They know the force is in, and they want the weaponry. Problem is, four players with no helmets. These glills will hit like AKs. Yeah, this is actually a, a pretty even battle in terms of weaponry. And it does look like Complexity have made it down secret early on. They will be contested by Bird from Sky. He's made it down lower already through the vents. And four members 
down there. But they're keeping their options open just a little bit. Floppy's staying around red. This is a little bit of a mini lurk. It's it's nothing too crazy. It's not like he's opening up a completely new avenue into this round, but he is giving complexity a way to fall back. Sometimes you do get kind of jammed up in this position. And, oh, that molly is supposed to go a little deeper. That, that almost gives a one way if there were anyone behind it. But, oh, what is this, JT? He's considering the vent. I think he's just clearing it. Oh, oh. wow, Fang catch a, catches Bird from Sky, who was That's already crazy. down lower, and then he went back into the vents. This is a very strange position now for Ecstatic. They've lost complete control of the lower bomb site. Manx might want to fight in from ramp side, but they're using some utility to try to keep him out of the situation. That smoke, I don't know if that went far yeah. enough, but again, I don't think it matters. JT it's... ripping another head off. Yeah, missed utility, some botched uh, grenades in this round, but all the kills coming in, and at the end of the day, that's going to force the save. Ecstatic are already in T uh, CT spawn as well. And that's the five Galils coming out with five alive. That's why you rebuy. That's why you force back in. Even though Ecstatic had pretty much the same buy, it's Coles that was actually improved from the previous round, right? It was no SMGs, no scout on Junior. Everyone just deadly. So. Nice little round there out of complexity. And they immediately put Ecstatic in a worrying position on this CT half. You're going to want to rebuy, but you're not going to have, well, this time I can say, assuredly, not 5A1Ss. Absolutely. This, this is <laughs> I a, just thought they yeah. wouldn't want to do it after last. The, I mean, there was so low utility. You could see that they could barely contest for some of those positions. So yeah, the the lack of helmets, the lack of utility. Okay. Ecstatic were basically playing in dark for the in the dark for this entire round because they had no way to take space safely, yeah. which you would want with utility like the the glaive smoke outside, some flashes to get through the secret smoke, even just a way to get through that that kind of like lower push uh, to contest it a little bit with the molly or a smoke. I mean, yeah. they couldn't even slow them down. So. Ecstatic have to rethink things, but it, right now, this is where the game gets a little bit messy, where where the economy is just in dire straits for, for both of these teams. There's this little push and pull, a tug of war, and whatever team gives out first, there it's going to li likely lead to a bit of a landslide of rounds. And nothing feels better than that than on the early T side, and you just getting a buffer for your first half. Although at the same time, we would maybe imagine complexity you need a pretty damn good T side here on this map. You know, not only because this series has been in general T sided, but this is one where JT is going to be comfortable in the cooling. But you do have nice pieces on the defense in terms of Junior, who I, you know, it's a whole half away, but I'm really excited to see what his CT orb is going to look like on this team and on this map specifically. Probably the best alongside Overpass, the best orping map right now for a CT. Yeah, we want to see simple, you know, obviously. Quite a comparison, but just as the, the best Orper in the world to go crazy on the CT side of this map. Fast out hut, they've got the top flashes. There's a player stuck behind the vent, tries to take some range shots. They drop in from the rafters and they get chewed up, spat out. Fasher with a double out of nowhere, drops the bomb. And JT needs another clutch, another 1v2. It's very difficult. Fasher's throwing nades. It might land. Two hell versus four in the headshot. How does Fasher do that? Coming up the vent and killing everyone. That's unbelievable. That is, that's not supposed to happen. Fasher overperforming in his position once again. This guy has been the star of the day. He's sitting on 9-1 and one right now. They survived. The, they weathered the storm. Felt like Complexity made an excellent call right there. The little kind of half A pop baits some utility out. They already threw the outside smokes. They caused Fasher to rotate down. That's why it's unbelievable because Fasher was towards the lower bomb side. He was defending that area and yet he comes up and he's able to come up huge for his team. That That is not supposed to go like that. So... Props to him. The outside smokes come out once again from Complexity. Last round, they didn't use them at all. Two rounds ago, they sent four down. They're switching it up once again, just sending JT. Yeah, I like that. I love it when you use your first wall of smokes just to condition and keep those CTs guessing. Grim late lurks yard and does beat Fasher in a one-to-one -one trading the kill, but Bird from Sky's got the AK and has re-aggressed up secrets. He needs to be quick because Floppy popping out A. Cole are just abusing this top site right now and they're being given a lot of space. Bird from Sky, he's on a big wrap. He doesn't want to come in through main. It almost feels predictable. So the T-spawn flank is going to mean his team need to slow it down yet again. But Ecstatic, they've done a good job of winning these rounds that, that seem like they're not favored at all. Smoke down, bomb planted, one way in, and you're still waiting on your in-game leader. Yeah, but it's tough to believe that this is going to result in any kind of different outcome than a ramp push. Flash, though, comes out of heaven. Bird from Sky, he's finding an angle towards Squeaky right now. And the one-way smoke is there. Floppy's holding it. Oh, and Bird from Sky takes down Grim. Okay. Nice double from Floppy, though. Bird from Sky, low HP in the red. 17. Oh, barely doesn't connect. 
with Floppy. In fact, he does just not quite enough damage. Now Junior, for the swing out, takes him down. And Complexity, I think they've done it. I think they've broken the economy yeah. of Ecstatic at this point. I mean, you still want to buy to just level out your money, but yeah, this is going to be the weakest buy yet for Ecstatic. Not coming in with you know, a couple of saved M4s to tempt you into a scout with Deagle here and there. And Bird from Sky tried his best, but this is an excellent hold on the top side for Floppy. The space he's been finding in A in this game, in these two on fours, in these unfavored positions, has netted a lot of bomb plants for Complexity, which in the long run has bailed them out economically. They've got full AKs now. Junior's yet to AWP, but it, never in a hurry with you know so many of these force and low econ rounds. You don't want to start giving CTs up when they start playing pistols. Nice gap for Fasher to find an opening kill on Fang. And he confirms it's not a full yard take. There are still two more T's out. He tells his team to watch the lobby, watch out for lurkers. Even the boost up behind the vent. Do we have a smoke for this? No, Manx is on hot roof. Maybe he could throw it, but he'd need to be very quick. Luckily enough, Fash has so much info, you should get a kill on a player trying to throw a Molotov there anyway. And Cole, who've lost Yard, go back out late with nothing. Oh, Bird from Sky. Oh, he wants that AK so badly. Bad. Might be his undoing. Oh, no, he found a timing. Oh, this is free. It's over. No oh! way. Aim punched. Wow. Whiffs it just a little bit on that first shot, and Floppy, he's going to he's gonna find it. Okay, JT was considering the mini wrap, but instead it's just a full heaven wrap all the way into their spawn. And now Ecstatic, they, they're forcing their own hand here. They, they could have just decided to tuck on the site, but they want to be a little bit proactive. They want to like take the fight to them. Oh. Almost found the timing. In fact, they do go one for one. Oh. Wolfie takes down Floppy as well. That's that's the bomb. The bomb is on the ground outside. There's 30 seconds left. Grim knows that, so he's speeding up. He needs to play very quickly. There are a lot of angles that they're going to have to clear. Fasher's given up the chase on his position, but Wolfie's going to be able to swing out wide. That's an excellent timing from him, and Fasher closes it out. Dude, how do they find that round? They knew there were two players garage because when Wolfie peaked main, he saw the bomb getting thrown over to swap players. You obviously, understandably for Cole, don't want to take that bomb heaven and then lose it in the rafters, right. and then you lose a round to that, but it's the realization for Ecstatic that we are getting heaven wrapped. They can't put everyone heaven. They're going to mini split and, and you know, Bird from Sky already, while he died outside, he knew there were numbers. He knew that they were heavy yard. So what a great read to re-aggress main, to drop the bomb. Fasher is doing so much work right now. Even just that bait peak, like you said, to set Wolfie up. And right when that should have been Cole, running away, building this T-side around like you implied with a, a mainly pistols, mainly armorless pistols for Ecstatic. They come in with the eco win. That's put Cole on the back foot. They're the first ones to truly give it up and not force by fully. Even though Ecstatic didn't have a lot, they spent every dollar and it was a worthy investment. That's a bit awkward. Dafu will trade though. And with the space gained, Wolfie's gonna swing outside and just clean up these glocks. Yeah, it should be, it should be a clean one from Ecstatic. They have somehow, some way managed to weather the storm. And now this is becoming a little bit awkward for complexity. I mean, they, they threw out a lot of plays already a lot of them very good plays, but it does seem like ecstatic. They're just coming up with the right reactions. The the hero, whether it's a hero play or a nice push through the garage, like you mentioned. Either way, it, it's looking good for ecstatic. This is a great proactive defense that even if the first pick doesn't go their way, they're still finding ways to correct the situation. And so you have to give them a lot of credit for that. They definitely seem like a team that's outlined a lot of their procedures, their reactions. And in doing so, they've given themselves a comfy 5-2 lead. Yeah, and again, to, to reiterate, we talked about this back on Inferno. This is not a good map for Ecstatic, at least in the numbers, right? They're, they're obviously a team that's grinding right now. They're playing a lot of maps, playing a lot of different ones. Mirage, they've only got three logged. Nuke, they've only got eight logged. But everything else is in the double digits. And, and Nuke, statistically, has been a very poor map for this team. The only one really in the red, uh, under 50%. So, yeah, it's uh, their only wins are against Eternal Fire a couple of times. But that's crazy to see them, you know, it's early days, but putting up quite a fight against uh, a, you know, a, a team that's definitely put time into Nuke, what little time they've had, and even historically have shown to be viable here as well. That's a nice kill from Heaven, spamming the bomb down vent. It drops, Wolfie's got it, and he knows they made it past. They're in the B site without the bomb. Wolfie, oh! Oh, he didn't see it? Yeah, oh, now okay, he now he knows. And he can just sit on it like a mother hen with her egg. Cole don't even know that he's in the vent. When they reroute to come and get it, they're making a lot of noise. Floppy, he's got to clear this. Wolfie, oh. hello? He heard the run, but apparently not. 
Oh. Falling into Floppy, and it's another headshot. Jeez, it just seems like Floppy is ready for everything <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Who Can't would have predicted that him. to happen? Either way, Dafu coming up through Decon. The door is open, so this is an Hello. opportunity. Oh, this might be a multi-frag right oh. here. Oh, can't quite finish the kill out. Now his position is given up. The flash is there. This should be a, a win for him right there. But Grim, he's able to still survive, and Junior, late down the vent, takes him down. Vent drops on vent drops on vent drops. There's layers to this. There's layers to this. I don't know if we're in a dream right now. Yeah, maybe we need to pinch ourselves. I can pour a bucket of cold water on your head, Mao, if you'd like. Other than it ruining the equipment in the studio, which Relog is doing a fantastic job at setting us up in, that might that might get me up. And your hair as well, you know. I don't worry about yeah, it. It's, it's, it's fine. Just you know, it's, it's for the greater good okay. in in many respects. All right. Once again, though, they nade out the door. There's there's been a handful of different conditioning methods that Complexity are throwing out. Door nade, smokes outside. You can see that they're doing even a triple smoke outside this time around. I mean they. They're not shy with showing these different sorts of smoke setups. And Dafu, well, he kind of calls it out. He, he seems like he might have an inkling of a feeling that this is going to end up as an A play. But there's only flashes to counter now, though. Oh, Ollie on that roof. He's going to drop off, and they can't turn in time. Grim gets caught as floppy, rather. A rare miss from him. Grim's doubled up. He's hitting all right. Junior alone in a clutch, and it's quick oh. double from him. Up the vent comes Wolfie. He lent B early after the smokes, and so Junior never saw him, never knew. You can make the call, make the read, but you're backing up, and Wolfie's got the round. And a win somehow, an ecstatic 6-3 to three up. How I do not understand how they are consistently winning these awful buy rounds. They're coming in with full rifles, they're losing. You put them on pistols and SMGs, and they start shredding complexity. Like you said, the read was there. Even though Wolfie was lower, he was calling out B was free, and the double SMG upper was just enough to weather the storm. There have been, oh, that's Yikes. unfortunate. Um, Don't have many smokes either. Yeah, we'll move past that one though. Nade going towards outside. Yeah, it does It does feel like somehow ecstatic. They're just barely holding on. Um, it's, it's just there. Fasher, one for one. Okay, that gives complexity some space in this round and there's already a smoke towards this garage. Oh. Dafu can't quite connect with the shot. Wolfie has an oh, excellent yeah. off angle though. If this isn't hard clear, he might be good for a couple of frags. Man, there's still a lot of dueling going on outside. It's just the lack of smokes means that everybody's willing to take the fight right now. Oh, and Wolfie, yeah. oh, he just Foundation. chooses unluck an unlucky timing to push on forward. But Manx is already here towards lower, and the oh. fighting does not cease outside. Now, Manx is already towards lower. JT, he doesn't want to go for the swing immediately. Oh. Man, this round is just all over the place. Molly is there, and Floppy cleans it up at the very end. A 4K from Floppy. I That round had so much action going on in so many different areas simultaneously that it was hard to keep up with it. But but Complexity and Floppy, they I mean, they, they're the ones that come out on top. Yeah, Floppy was the guy on silo trading faster, and then the constant re aggression feels bad for Wolfie all those times he's stuck there if he moves up any of them except after all his team die like mm -hmm. he would have certainly shot Junior in the back and said good awareness from Cole who go back down into B and Manx caught with nades is re the real problem there in that 1v1 thought he had more space than he did Fash has made it to red again he's already got I'm, kills I'm from not this counting position. ecstatic out of this round. oh no they've won every eco <laughs> they've played so far this is if anything a full buy for ecstatic Fash will get cleared JT a little late to it and Fash thought it was already Already gone. Now a ramp pop. Grim looking away and with a player running B, Ecstatic might be forced to make rotations. He's being loud about it. Wolfie oh. moving into ramp, playing for Eco though. Shouldn't be up for much in this round. B at 5-7. Choose up two. Manx with a double chasing for more. And it's floppy to once again keep Colin good standing. Dafu drops door, but the bomb is heading B to meet JT. Yeah, and at the same time, JT found a second towards lower, so this should be free for the taking. Floppy, even though he has the bomb, he knows that the only way they can really lose is if, it, is if there's some crazy flank that happens. So he is just so ready for this, nice. and he's going to eat him up right there. Also knows that, you know, with pistols, Daffy wants a gun. Where are the guns? All ramp. Th that mate. too, so, yeah, just protecting it. Yeah, just coming to him. Patient play from complexity. And with with the CT side that you're getting, when you're getting picks, you're, you call it definitely calling, like, just hold off, just wait for a second because we're going to get more repeats we're going to get more action more violence I ecstatic will not let their foot off the gas in the ct side and maybe that's going to be the undoing you know we were waiting for the streak of rounds it could start to come in now 
Yeah, there, there's been some great reactions from Ecstatic through this game thus far, but at the same time, you're yeah, you're right. There, there's a potential that these could just blow up in their face. Okay, JT flashes for himself. Oh, flash. Here it is, the one, <laughs> and the swing comes out. High ping, who cares? JT doesn't. Eco frags are still eco frags, and he's ready to yeah. farm a little bit of ADR right now. Love to see this from JT. Ace oh, it. we got an ace on 140 ping. JT <laughs> finds the ace. Yeah. What a round from him. Second top on the team right now. I'll, what tell, a guy. I'll tell you, with, with, with ping that high, doesn't matter if they're eco frags. They feel really good regardless. It's tough. Yeah. It's tough to put that together, honestly. We are here grinding. Big respect to, to JT as well. Uh, I don't know what TC's level is in the server. Like he obviously made it to the boot camp. Is he? Uh, does he have playing experience? Do you know? If, if, yeah. I, I mean, at this point, you don't. You don't want to be making subs. You don't want to be dropping out players. And uh, hey, we've already got evidence. JT can do it no matter the ping you give him. Doesn't look like uh, this round Ooh. is as complex for the T side. Okay, just a fast A hit coming out. Go two for one on that. Fasher, surely not. Surely not. You, you, you've had your fun coming up the vent before, but this time might be... The timing just doesn't feel like it's there. Oh, there's a smoke, though. That could give him some opportunities. They have to hold both sides of that, or Fasher could lurk out and find an opportunity. He's thinking about it. This will give up the chase if he throws this flash, though. That should give him the other team a bit of an opportunity oh. to figure things out, but no JT. Oh. Almost, almost. The lineup was was there, but Wolfie does find the trade. Yeah, nice retake there for Ecstatic. We saw these uh, A retakes get a little bit awkward in some of these past rounds, but far better timing off of the repeaks once you lose that Heaven guy. The main split was excellent, and Floppy couldn't uh, couldn't hold on behind the CT vent. Cole, just they can never get comfortable, man. Keep in mind that was like the best buy we've seen, and we're on round like 12, 13. Yeah. And that was the best buy from both teams with an AWP finally, Junior. He's bringing his in. This game is, um, it's been a little bit more straightforward than I would have expected from Complexity. I feel like they're running plays a little bit quicker. I don't know if that's JT having just some kind of hesitation, but Junior will go for a little bit of a default pick towards the door. I'd like to see that, but Grim, okay. Finds a pick on Wolfie towards outside, who is trying to sneak towards back red. That's a great opener, but there's still a lot of position being held by Ecstatic. Bird from Sky is up close, oh. catches JT off guard, doesn't finish the kill though. And now they're not ready for Fash, a third player. They clear it, JT checks it. We can see that ping come in. Grim will have to trade the kill on Bird from Sky. Reload off, don't know how he gets away with a second. It's floppy up above to trade that. Now everyone's outside. It's full fight mode, it's full violence mode here for Ecstatic. They want to win this fight in the yard. Floppy's not giving them enough until his team are ready with the smokes fading. Fang fights and Floppy dead above the silo. Junior needs this clutch. He wants this clutch and he's in the 1v1. Dapu goes, oh, oh. and Junior knocks him off. Seven to seven, a massive round, a 1v2 out of Junior to keep complexity in good standing. But uh, even with the low money, Ecstatic can still win this half. Ecstatic are such a frustrating team to play against. You can just tell. Anytime there is any kind of outside yard contest, Ecstatic send every single player there. They don't they don't leave any contingency plans or anything up to up to guesswork. It, it's just send it. They just full out ship it. They're out there fighting till the bitter end. They've outlined their win conditions. I, I'll give them that. It's, it's a weird approach. Complexity, and the, the thing is, Complexity haven't punished them for doing this. Somewhat, it's a team that used to do this a lot on the CT side, at least back in NA, was uh, was the old Chaos roster. Uh, you know, the Marquis Zeppelin roster, and they used to be super aggressive on CT rounds oh, uh, yard and, and fight five on five to the death as well. That did get weird. Floppy get, well, I said gets Grim killed. He was blind. He couldn't do anything about it. Trades quick. And JT, a nice pick. He gets out. This time, no frag, no refrag for Ecstatic, who aren't heavy yard. They wanted to play a more default round. They don't want to get faked on by smokes. We've seen that happen. Fasher, barrel spotted, poking out the vent. He barely gets touched, though, by the bullets. And Cole could just group ramp right now. It's free as can be. Yeah. That would be the read. Or even go back to join J uh, JT outside. He's called that no one has re-aggressed on him yard. He's just spotting his timings on main and secret. And this is a good call for Cole. If they wanted to run a, a wall of smokes on the fly, they could do that as well. Floppy's left in lobby to lurk, and this is a nice setup for Cole. Even if they split A and walk into the stack through mini, I, I'm not worried. 
out armed are ecstatic, so they try and take some map control, some position in lobby, and Floppy has slipped the net, but this could be the death of him. Oh yeah, they're right behind him. Is Floppy gonna be ready for it? Doubt it. The timing is too good right now for Dafu. Oh. There is the trade though, so just Wolfie now in the 1v3. Looks like Complexity have a good opportunity here to win out the half. Wolfie, he's had a he's had a solid half so far, but coming up with three, that's a that's a huge ask. And so Junior, he's already posted on the angle. This might be it, yeah. and it is. Nice half out of Cole, right? Eight, eight rounds, T-side nuke. We kind of expected a, a, a better showing for Cole on this map, and it started stronger as well. That was the difference. They went down 10-5. It was up to a comeback. And in, in every aspect of that last map, right, not only the first half pulling it to overtime, but then in both overtimes, they went down 0-3, and they almost made it a third, one round shy. So Cole, actually controlling the game for a change now, might do them uh, a lot of good coming into this CT half. Junior, I want to see that CT up as soon as possible. Fang's having a bit of a quiet one, but now, you know, things are things are balancing out, and we get to see what Bird from Sky is cooked up on this T side. They do look a little better versed than previous new games for this roster. So maybe some homework has been done. Just a little bit of a door pop, but then they stop right in their tracks. And there is a single ramp player in Junior. They're, they're trying to sell this fake once again. But now Junior, he's going to be here for the contest. Ooh. Can't find anything just yet. Dips up off the ramp. Unable to come up with anything. Fasher has been just so deadly on these yeah. entries. And Wolfie, oh, this oh. is a great timing on the Lurk. Oh, and he stayed I silent. Okay, Fang, a contest at control. Oh, almost found the timing on the swing. Grim comes up. He kills that Lurker in, in Wolfie. That's a big frag to find. But now we're set here at a 4v4 standstill as the smoke impedes the path. Yeah, do you really want to wait the entire smoke? It's going to take serious time, but that's where the T's are hidden out, locked in behind the fake wall. JT moving in off of Rab. Now these CTs have to clear the hallways. The L bend is Fang and Grim run in. The Glocks churn them up. Fasher with another opener. JT clears the Astralis spot, but they're in dark as well. He has the kit, but there's no way you're getting away with a stick right now. Manx checks it. It's clear, and he tells his team Floppy's trying to frag out, but he, they don't need to fight him. Bomb is going off, whether you like it or not, and the Flop sadly will have to stop. Kills or not, it's ecstatic with a pistol round. I love that call as well. The problem is for Junior, maybe it's because of the A fake that's coming in, but he's not on the railing, allowing him to actually drop off. He is wide. He has to fight, jump over railing, and then drop. And that's just desperate. That's cope right there, Mauro. You're not escaping. Yeah. You've got to fight, to your, fight for your life at that point. And he doesn't take a single kill with him. Bit awkward. Yeah, it, it is a bit of a fundamental of ramp that you're either getting one falling, two dying, or... Staying alive, oh, and, yeah. and Junior, unfortunately, neither none of those options came up right there. We'll see if he can do better with the scout, though. It's not usually asked of him to have to be a ramp player, at least with just a pistol, so this would be a better opportunity for him to find something. There's a gap in the smoke, but he's a little bit late on the angle, so a couple players from Ecstatic will be able to make it down secret. Fang is there at the control doors right now playing the jump spot game, but... Ecstatic don't seem actually too interested in fully committing to this. They're just trying to test the waters, see if Complexity, uh, if they can force out a reaction from them. And it does seem like Complexity are, are curious, but they're not going to commit to anything just yet. Late smoke outside. That looks to be blocking off the locker room angle. They even have a mini smoke on top of it. Swinging back up through the smoke with the bomb loose. Tempted Cole back for fights. And, well, they actually balance it. Three on three. Junior, does he know that he can stop them crossing once that smoke phase? JT's got the first bit of info. Still that lurk in lobby. Manx is alive. Could come through. He's actually going silo to try and help these yard players right now. Really, the only weapon to rely on is Junior Scout in this position. Oh. Fang is gambling for lower still. Manx did fall. But it shouldn't be a problem. He can get the bomb without threat of the scout. And Junior, a missed shot. JT pokes his head in. Good tag. Maybe that's something JT can capitalize on. And now it needs to be two hits. How's that not a kill onto Manx? He was already low. And Junior eventually overwhelmed. JT finished one. But that's all he'll get. And up from B. Fang has a headshot. He knows Fash is close. And he needed to close. But stuck between a rock and a hard place. It's Fasher with three. Ecstatic. Nine rounds. And my goodness. Even in the second half. 
It's just five on fives in yard, Maui. Uh, yeah, the, it's just constant brawling outside there. It's layered, it's staggered, but it's all there. And Fasher is, I'm, I'm becoming a believer in yeah. this guy. This guy is, Crazy. I, I am seriously impressed by the way that he's able to piece together some of these situations, regardless of what sort of just pinch that he's under. It feels like doesn't the, the more pressure that he's under, the, the quicker he turns into a diamond in the round, because it is seriously so impressive to see how he can <sighs> just, it doesn't matter. How? It doesn't matter How? what the situation is. This guy is constantly delivering. How does he do that? Floppy, that's a hero rifle boosted late over blue, and Fasher just nails the headshot. That smoke looks so good for Floppy. I don't know how he has found this opener. Fang might have a deke though. Looking the wrong way. Flick back. Oh, and Fang, he didn't take it the first time. It gave Bird from Sky a second to react. What is this smoke? He's lining up something. He's got something cheeky. Might, might be the same locker room smoke that Could he be. threw last round. But let's, let's see this. Let's see this. I think this is a locker room window. Yeah, that looks perfect. Oh, up it goes and... Oh, wow. Yum. Naughty. Bird from Sky's got the receipts. Not even a difficult lineup. No. Yeah, okay. So easy to say that, but try remember it at fifteen fourteen. I don't even know where he was aiming. Yeah, well, I, it's in my head. <laughs> I forgot immediately. I, it's in my head, I but I guarantee I couldn't throw it in a match. Uh, yeah, but either way, it throws a little bit of misdirection in the way of complexity. They're they're trying to figure out what that smoke means, but it doesn't really mean much of anything. Ecstatic or down lower, B bomb site right for the taking, oh. and JT just gets nailed in the <laughs> face. High ping or not, that is a. He just got destroyed. Yeah, absolutely beamed there by Fasha. And low, he took the Mac 10 after that floppy damage. Grimm's picked up the Hero M4, but there's going to be no clutching today for Cole. Junior can die with the bomb site. Maybe try and draw them in. But Nuke is one of those maps where the bomb is apparently just uh, just for show. It doesn't actually do damage barely on this B site. We saw Manx survive and the pistol staying in B. So. It's not going to be able to stay long enough to cause any problems. It's a five alive, 10th round for Ecstatic. Are you getting worried for Cole yet? Yeah, I know we've not seen full gun rounds and everything, all the trimmings, but what are your thoughts already on this T side? I, I think we just I think we just need to see the next round, uh, to be frank. It, it's tough to yeah. gather too much from these rounds. The fact that they made that second round force by as close as it was, I mean, that, that probably shows that complexity does know what they're trying to accomplish in these kinds of rounds, how they want to play together towards that outside. I will say that the reactions from Ecstatic have been a little weird on that second round yeah. in particular. The way that Manx just decides to fall off the silo, takes full damage. Uh, Was that purpose? <laughs> there's no way. There's. I don't think I don't think you're trying say, to take 42 yeah. damage for Strong free lane, ever. Lol. Yeah. There's so. even that thing below silo, that box that you can just fall on as well. Exactly. There's a lot of options there to not take fall damage or as yeah. much. And he chose the, the worst of those. So we'll see. At, at this point, if, uh, oh, this is going to be tough now that I think about it. JT with high ping at ramp. This is a, this is a position where he just has to play for the, the fall. Oh, he's dumping his nades. His flash is out. His smoke's too late. They can already beat it if they want, but they'll respect wow. for now. If they knew it was JT, I, I'm i not sure if they respect it. Yeah. Personally. They've seen Junior there, but he has got that AWP, and he's floating. I like this swap. They've just put Junior ramp. He's now taking the angle. JT can go back and reinforce Heaven. And uh, now Ecstatic. If they think, oh, we've gotten the util out ramp. We've seen a rifle. Let's go overwhelm it. Well, they can't. And they won't anyway. Back to Smokes and Yard. Wide ones at that. I'm going to try and cross behind them. Still looking like they're going to come through the Smokes into secret. But always the option to pop many. There's always one teammate who will go up and over or through, but not today, not under the leadership of Bird from Sky. He, he runs a tight ship. Oh, all five. And like ships in the night, a ghostly apparition down to B. No noise made. They're through the walls. This might be the save call. <laughs> Maybe. This, this might just be the save call for complexity. I, I don't think they can mess with this anymore. I, they are going to find out in just a split second that they've been, they've been duped. Bamboozled, in fact, and that's it. That's the round. Dear, oh dear. Junior. Oh, he's going to try to recover it. Okay. Yeah. If All he right. can get something. Oh, that's, that's... of course it's Fasher. Yeah, that's it. Get him out. This guy's sick. Yeah, Fasher, Fasher doesn't miss. Fasher has been on fire today. There was there was one possible wow. moment in this round where things could have changed, and he, he comes up with the one frag to edge it in Ecstatic's favor. I just had so many entries that have been just clean, just just no problem, never coming in as, and, and needed a, needed a t teammate or a trade. 
just opening up and closing the round like that. And that's Junior's Orb, and it's gone. Lost to Bird from Sky now. I will say, when the late diagonal smokes, smokes come out, you will see a lot of, I'd say, tier one pros throw a little bit of A1S spam through it. It, it yeah. wouldn't have hurt to see that come out from Fang or JT from Heaven. I, I think that yeah. that's just that's just something that people feel there's no value in. I mean, there's no reason not to do it. There's no loss by just shooting a couple shots in it. And if, if JT connected with a couple of those bullets, you know, little body shot here or there, Fang could have alerted them. There could have been a faster rotation. But that just wasn't there for complexity this time. So we'll see if they can try again, if they can do a little better. And because Ecstatic got that completely silent walk to be with no come up and that's in the back of the mind. Every time you see the smokes, you're wondering, are there five players behind it? We're gonna have to see how that affects Cole's rotates. Already in this round, Fang begins B, dropped from ramp, and JT plays close ramp in a very precarious position. Fang has been alerted there are smokes out, but it's not a full wall. Is there gonna be a flash setup? Junior could do it. He's got one. He's gonna throw it. Now it goes, Fang with a spot clears yard, and he tells his team to watch their spots, watch their sights. There's the vent smoke. Floppy's up in front of it. This is a round crafted for Floppy, but ecstatic. They love to do this, throwing smokes and then walking dry late. It's what they were doing on Vertigo, and it's what they're doing right here, right now. It looks like an attempt to the one way, but I don't know if that's hit the mark as much. He saw Fash's barrel, and with Fang throwing a smoke here, all eyes are on secret for ecstatic when they cross. The late yard take. Fang definitely saw the barrel, so he said there's something outside. Junior is now up in heaven with the A1S, but it is going to be an A split through main. Yeah, you might need a reaction from Complexity, but they're just holding the line here. Wolfie's getting a great angle for this A pinch right now. Oh. Okay, there it is. That's the reaction. They push in through lobby. One for one. Okay, oh. Manx is trying to find something here. No oh, he's pushing way. through the Molly. Oh, and Wolfie on this mini lurk right Crazy. now. There's so much going on in this round. Once again, Molly down the vent. Yeah. And Ecstatic actually have found an opening on A. They know there are two B. Not only Fang and Secret with the smoke, but JT, they just pushed off ramp down lower. So yeah, again, complexity are out of position, but it's not a misread. It's just out of the control of Ecstatic. They have pushed them into unfavorable spots and a retake that you don't really want to call off because it's a three on three, but you're not favored in any sense of the word. Fang has the util, but he is in vent. He can only maybe throw a flash up top and that's going to be blatant at this point. There's a swing oh. from JT taking first contact. Heaven player dead, leaves it up to these main splits. JT can't clear it. Fang is up the vent. They know the Molly is going to force Dafu. He's going to buy as much time as he can. That's a beautiful round as now there's just no time for Fang. Kill or not, Fash has got him and of course it's not the kill as Fasha just don't miss. Yeah, complexity were outmaneuvered out in that round. That was a well pieced together T side by Ecstatic in that one. That, that was honestly just complexity getting forced into lower. That was a, a reaction that was caught by Ecstatic. There was a nice pinch on top of it. It just doesn't seem like complexity can find the information quick enough in these yeah. rounds. They're not really, like we saw on Inferno, frequently they were pushed back. They kind of played a more default style until they felt like they, then their hand was forced, that they had to make these reactions. And there's just no kind of preemptive Ooh. defense, but this is one oh, of them, no. although it's caught. Fasher, of course, takes down Junior. And Bird from Sky, he chimes in with one. It's all up to Fang now. Oh my god, he's stuck outside. He sees the cross back. Bird from Sky swapping sides. Pistol out in the face. And Bird from Sky will win it out. Fang had no option there. Trapped up close. Of course, Juni is up. Gone like a light. Tapped out by Fasher in the red smoke. They're trying to kill Bird from Sky. Well, they got his number, but he hangs up the phone, resets to lobby. Ramp is free with JT dead. They notice it and they take that space. All you have to worry about is the hell rotate and a Molotov will secure you in the lower site. Complexity, they've been be all half, but now finally, as the take comes in, there's no one to be seen and nowhere to be seen. Vent drop or save or even secret. It's a longer rotate. They're scared of a player having earlier got down into this position. So oh, they man, have to these take... mid rounds. Oh, they're being fla uh, wow. faked, flanked, this back is, up, upper. This is really well called from Bird from Sky. Yeah. This is a great mid round from him. I'm I'm loving what I'm seeing from Ecstatic here. There's layers to these strategies. The mid rounds aren't all too obvious either. They're doing just enough. It's not becoming overly complicated. There's not too many moving parts. It's just enough to keep their opponents on edge, guessing and making them and making complexity make the wrong decisions. Bird from Sky, he's one step ahead of this game in terms of where he's at calling versus JT. This yeah. is great. I wanted to ask about the last round as well because it was it happened. This round happened so fast. Like when we saw that mini split from Wolfie Orb and we saw an upper hit 
what, right before they hit up, or right as they were hitting up, uh, Ecstatic showed ramp deep. They shot JT and they forced him down. And I've just never seen that right before an AX deck. Because not only does it scare JT and, and push him down to be in the wrong position anyway, but it also means you can't get lobby flanked. And it, it bought so much time for Ecstatic on that upper side. They never had to worry about Hut. They had no one watching it. They just weren't concerned that they were getting lobby taken from the ramp flank. Like, yeah, is that a... I, I, I don't know. What's your take on that? Like, it's a it's a nice little way to just try to throw out a, a prod in, in that you're gonna you're gonna force a reaction out of complexity because when JT says that too he doesn't want to take a fight and I think Ecstatic probably know that unfortunately yeah, I think they, I, I yeah. think they are a little yeah that could be playing a little bit more into the circumstances of this game knowing that JT's on 140 ping and that it's a little cheeky but you gotta use what you got to win so yeah. I, I I give Ecstatic props for that one because it does force a rotation it makes the guy that's in vent second guess his position too, like, should I help A? Should I get myself set up for a B defense? Either way, it's a nice little way to just kind of throw complexity off kilter just enough to even further strengthen that that play. Because another thing that's risky about it is that if you die, then your then your A hits just weak. Your yeah. A hits just too weak because you're going to have the guy on top of the side or the the on top of the the roof outside throwing the nades, and then it's only three guys running into A, and that's that's not a lot of bodies. You, you usually need you want four bodies running into A, if not all five, you yeah. know, to even make that successful. How about a, a mini lurker orb, you know? <laughs> yes, <laughs> how about I mean, that, that? <laughs> that just happened. We just saw how that worked out. I mean, yeah. the, it, it, it is pretty amazing the way that Ecstatic are, are taking space with confidence and yeah. knowing, and just knowingly going into some of these duels and some of these pinches with just, they, they're they just going to know the rotations of complexity before it even happens. This, this is beautifully called from Bird from Sky. I want to give you some numbers as well, Maui. Fasher, this shouldn't surprise you. Nine and one on opening duels. Absolutely no shock in that number in my mind, like from what we've <laughs> seen. He is destroyed Junior. The the two times Junior has had an orb, he's been picked first. He's 0-4 uh, to throw that back the other way. Now, Here's the other worry, right? Like, obviously, we've had that uh, USP ace in there. JT is the top performer. He's dropped out, obviously, tech problems. That's what we're waiting for. But he is the top performer of complexity, joint with Floppy, 1914, 1915, respectively. Like, is that a worry? I mean, oh, no, definitely. that is a worry. That's a bad that's sign. That's not a question. That's a statement. That is a bad sign for yeah. complexity. The, the other players need to be coming up big, bigger than what they're doing right now. Mm. I can give only so much rope on this I, I thought that yesterday i i propped up complexity i thought that they were playing very good counter-strike and to see them in this state it, it's a little bit of a, a reality check for me and probably themselves the fact that they could lose to ecstatic which isn't a bad team no. by the way ecstatic have been making some some serious waves in the tier two european space they've found a level of consistency not recently but it, but overall uh, in the 2021 season to prop themselves to a rank 20 spot in the world yeah. so so you can't you can't sleep on this roster but at the same time for an org like complexity for a uh, kind of a, a monumental or a, a signing for these players that just propped them up into the tier one space once again most of them have touched tier one before don't get me wrong on complexity it's just that for them to come together with this unit and to be spoiled in the fashion that they are right now yeah. by ecstatic it, it does uh throw a it, it's it kind of throws it you know, there's, it rains on their parade. Yeah, there's always going to be the caveat on this event for Cold it being their debut and, and the situations that surround it. But I agree. Like this, yeah, they are they are getting absolutely played like a fiddle here on the CT side. They were in in Inferno. They were they pulled a massive comeback, not just in Reg but in overtime as well. And still, ecstatic. I, I think the the two main takeaways for us, especially considering it's not like Wolfie is having the game that he had yesterday against Entropic where or the other day where he was just incredible on the AWP. But the main takeaways that we can both agree on is Fasher is a beast and has five on four every round of this game, pretty much in both maps. And Bird from Sky has had some incredible reads. And as you said, mid-rounding as well, forcing Cole, especially on a map like Nuke, into very uncomfortable positions. And I I'd like to remind people that this is the worst statistical map in the full seven map pool for Ecstatic. This has been one that the Extra Salt lineup, the core that is now Complexity, have frequented and have always liked. So it is a little worry, and I, I think a lot of credit has to go to the calling of Ecstatic. Now they can just go back in, offer the pause, and do something quick. Junior he wants to prod outside a bit. If he swings just an inch further, he could have caught some bodies, but oh, dear. oh, they're sneaking around him. Okay, he takes down one, but he's, he's not going to expect ready, this. Yeah. Fasher, Fasher's getting this one, that's for sure. 
Oh, wow. Oh, I'm, okay. The trigger discipline means that he can open up heaven on his own. Wow, he's playing the long con here, isn't he? Gotta care, though. Jimmy's oh, that peaking. jump up, though. Oh, oh, he doesn't connect. That's weird. Now you know it's an A-pop. They're going to take lobby. Great reaction from Floppy, getting one. Manx is going to trade it, though, and Ecstatic have to bail. They have to call something on the fly. Back to ramp into the double setup. JT has just left, but there's a second player. There's a fly in the ointment. Fang drops the bomb. It comes tumbling down. Wolfie hits one, and Fang re-aggresses, seemingly not aware of, of that possibility, expecting Fang to leave. He was never going to with the bomb down with teammates and hell to help. Cole come in with a first CT round off of the pause. Yeah, it's, been, it's been tough for Junior to find anything towards outside, but finally he's able to get one, stay alive, yeah. find information on the second. Uh, that's a good look for Junior. They're going to need more of that from, from him because Complexity's defense has, when it's just a fair, fair five on five, it does seem like Ecstatic has just been getting the better of Complexity. So he needs to do a better job of thinning the numbers. And already, he's taken out of the picture. Yeah, Wolfie with a pick onto Junior, Orp v Orp, but it comes out for Ecstatic. But from Sky's walking these smokes. Oh, Fang goes through them. He was trying to flank. He was trying to flank the secret players. Fashion was being loud. But from Sky was on the, 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 uh, the delay, rather. And he shoots him in the back of the head. Like, even just the layer there is so uncomfortable for complexity. And it feels like a round that they can just not win. They're gambling lower. They might get met ramp. But you know who else is ramp? But from Sky, he's coming in from hell. JT, oh, wow. no matter what side he peaks, he's going to be dead to the other, surely. Mm -hmm. There's oh. a kill, but a good luck escaping. Oh, the hesitation right there yeah. cost him. Okay, Fasher still coming down lower. Floppy doesn't look like he expects this too much. Might be able to come up with something here. Ooh, but Grim, he might meet his demise in just a okay. moment. Nice, okay. kill from nice kill from Floppy. Oh, oh, great damage, as a matter of fact. This just suddenly turned on its head. Two on two situation, but do they expect Fasher? Okay, Floppy's taken down, but that activates Grim. Wolfie is on 6 HP, Grim on 100. A single stray bullet is all that Grim needs here to oh, win a second round in a row for Complexity. The longer Wolfie tucks and goes quiet, the more Grim's going to think he's going ramp up to heaven. He never saw him get into the site. He only heard the smoke on single. Grim has to just commit, right? At this point, you, you don't want to be caught fangling around, rotating in 10 seconds. And so a stick can come through for Wolfie. You've got to gamble and hope he's not rerouted decon, but that would be the right call. The plant is heard. Grim makes a jump and he misses. He makes noise. Wolfie now looks at the window. Grim reroutes, spamming the door, knowing this guy is low. Wolfie, one shot either which way. Flash out the door. It's the big flank, but bomb not for this position. Wolfie's got to be absolutely on point here, and he's hesitating. He's slowing down in case Grim comes back his way. Grim can shut the door with a pre-fire. If he sticks, he wins, but he's in his head. He doesn't know. Wolfie wrapping out, and oh. Grim's got the read. Perfect call. Ten rounds for complexity. A very scary 1v1 situation, but it is picked up by the CT side. Yeah, very methodical by Grim. Other than the miss jump into the window right there, everything else he did is, is what you would have wanted if you knew the opponent was low. The little the pre-fire on the door, closing it, making sure that he can't come out from decon once again. Everything there, that's, that's a great look for Grim. Winning the 1v2, it's a pivotal one too. Yeah, I mean, that's back-to-back -back rounds for Cole. Keep that in mind, right? If they ever wanted to believe in this game and suddenly, you know, they, they, they pulled the rabbit out of the hat, it would be off of that. And the fact that they've even got money, it's not like they just got an instant reset round coming. So another full buy with a save door. Junior's got his, he needs to be finding success and they could just main drop right now and no one would even know Floppy's tucked in mini or in behind CT vent. Junior misses the timings outside. They get by, by behind the smokes, and Fang is picked by Wolfie's AWP. That was back at Garage. Wolfie drops off after the fact. Ecstatic, well, they have control lower from Fasher's cross on secret. We still have a lot to worry about outside in this AWP. In Bird from Sky, ready to drop main at a moment's notice. He will. Floppy's going to hear that. And Junior's still on the angle. Oh, he missed oh, the timing. Wow. Bird from Sky saw him. Yeah, they, they should know that the Junior's around here. Uh, it makes some noise on top of that. They definitely know now. Bird from Sky's position will catch JT off. I, I, I can't imagine JT's ready for this fight at all. This is free. Yep, that's well done from Bird from Sky. Excellent flash. 
Just kind of covers his retreat. Now Manx oh, holding oh, for the yeah. reaggress. Again, ecstatic. They're just doing everything right. They're calling out every rotation from complexity. Every oh, move they make oh, just seems so red right now. They'll this be is, watching you. This is clinical. This is simply clinical from ecstatic. That was a beautiful round from them. And complexity, they, they're just left scratching their heads. They, everything that they did, they everything they wanted to do in order to react to that one, ecstatic just was right there in the perfect position. Yeah, Fasha didn't even need to find a double entry there for ecstatic he just sat in secret while the pieces came to the rest of his team cole with a lobby aggression attempt and that's the one thing that ecstatic can rely on they've seen that happen a lot from grim often he's been flashed through hut floppy's gone for mid-round door pushes when we see these yard smokes come through so ecstatic just play around that fact and yeah two rounds in a row it maybe gave you a bit of hope for complexity but that is short-lived check that money I, you've got to play for overtime here in my opinion Buying is, is foolish. Buying is not believing. Yeah. Yeah. The, this is a, a big question for them. A younger team, I feel like they generally opt for the these kind of buys. And there's a greater picture here if you if you do that. Uh, it, it just says to yourself that, yeah, like you don't you don't really believe entirely in your gun rounds. The, the, but, but no, I like it from complexity. Yeah, I like that they cool. do this. It means that they believe they can win five in a row once they get that full money, full economy going and that things just haven't gone their way. These diagonal smokes yeah. have found a lot of mileage for Ecstatic. And sometimes they use three, sometimes they use two. They have different lineups. They they have something new every round. So makes complexity question, which one's the commit, which one's the fake? Because often they've crossed with three because that just leaves less room for gaps, right? You know, you don't have to be as pitch perfect with your smokes, but this time they cross with two. If that's something that complexity are taking note of, it's only going to be a disillusion in a round like this. Not that they have the yard info. Fang's spotting from hell, but otherwise it's JT on B with a USP. And here's that third smoke. This time it lands towards the window. There is room for Fang, but Pearl from Sky, he knows where this smoke's going. He's going to check it, and he will hit the shot. That's a bomb spotted going heaven. Fang's got a bit of information, but it's not going to go very far in a round with just pistols. Slow creep up into heaven. This is just going to activate a, a beautiful pinch onto the site. Bird from Sky with the double flashes to get themselves in. This should be a clean mop up for <laughs> Static. Every single position cleared out. Flawless round from them. Not a single player losing their life. But this is it. We've got uh, perhaps the final buy coming out from Complexity. They've got four A1Ss. They've got great utility. This is what they held out for. This is what they saved for. They gave up that previous round in order to have this purchase. We've got to see it here. We've got to see it, what Complexity have in store for us. Is it just going to be a slow default again from them, or are they going to get a little bit proactive? And again, I hate to, to pick on Junior. The numbers aren't even that bad, but like we just haven't had an opening kill from him in this half. I think we've had one opening kill from him this half, and yeah, it's been either Fasher getting the better of him with the rifle. Last uh, last Orb Junior had Wolfie picked him above Silo. There's not been a lot to rely on uh, in terms of the CTAWP. And, you know, the wall of smokes don't help that. We're seeing a lot of smokes. We're not seeing any like any uh, mistakes made around that. No one's flashing through. No one's peeking too wide and crossing red with deep smokes on, or diagonal smokes. So, you know, as, in terms of opportunities for an open, not many, but sometimes you just have to take them. Sometimes you have to throw yourself into the fray, get towards ramp, start lower. Where's that been? The, the orb's never been in secret. That's a go-to. Juni's going to do it this round, but of course it's the A-pop. Just avoided, just denied. Only one guy gets out, but they wait for the late flashes, and then the swing comes in. manx has got so much space for his team to check upper, and now forced out of position. Cole, who started double ramp with the orb down B, they're regretting everything. This is the beginning of the end. This is the penny dropping, and this is ecstatic eliminating complexity. All that's left to do is convert. Flashes go through. Dafu bounds out. There's a good pop out of heaven. Fang makes it into the site. A spray. He's low on ammo. There's another in the smoke. A team kill from JT with an HE grenade. He throws it down the vent. And Fang now at the back of the site. One tap by Fasher hiding in the smoke. That is it, folks. 16 to 10 and 2 to 0 with a near flawless T side. Ecstatic shut out of complexity in this series. That was an excellently called game from Bird from Sky. Deserves so much credit for this one. Constantly kept complexity un-